guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Stargazer bubble bar now unfortunately this bubble bar is being discontinued it was a part of the lush Harajuku bubble bar part one range that they dropped earlier this year and unfortunately I'm just getting around to reviewing this now so I do apologize if you have been looking out for it and um yeah just had to find the time to review it in between everything else I'm doing on this channel. So let's get straight into it and all the ingredients. So we've got sodium bicarbonate, cream of tartar, sodium laurel sulfate. Uh, we've got grapefruit oil, bergamot oil, almond essential oil, uh, white sugar crystals, interesting. Uh, titanium dioxide, cornstarch, and some other bits and pieces. So this... Uh, Bubble, bubble bar, yeah, I got the right one, <laughs> is meant to be a part of the Space Girl uh, scent family. Now, I have had sort of mixed feelings about the Space Girl scent family. I recently tried the very, very frightening shower gel for Halloween 2020, and it definitely was not a favorite product of mine. I just found it was way too sweet, way too full on for my liking. Now, funnily enough, I actually quite like the scent of this bubble bar. I thought this reincarnation um, of the scent was really pleasant. Um, you know, for some reason, I'm not a huge almond fan, um, as many of you will know if you've been on my channel for a while, uh, but I really enjoyed the almond in this. I thought it just brought everything together, made it a more smooth, cohesive scent. Uh, the bergamot was definitely there. The grapefruit was definitely there. So you had this sort of, sort of a little bit fresh, a little bit fruity, quite sweet, but not too sweet. Uh, smell and it just was very nice and there was a little bit of the bitterness from the bergamot just a touch as well so it was very well balanced it was very in proportion and um, quite unique from what I have smelt from Lush before and I quite enjoyed it um, and the color of the water was just stunning uh, you, you'll be able to see a demo at the end of that if you want to have a look I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone I did use the entire bar for this I chopped it up before I went into the bath and I put it in there um, so yeah you could you could probably get two uses out of it if you're being if you're being stingy you could probably get two uses out of it because uh, there, there wasn't there was plenty of bubbles in the one use as well so you could probably get two uses out of it if you're careful with it um, so yeah look I have no problems with this product the scent was strong enough uh, for me as well and for what I like so I think I'm gonna give this product a five out of five uh, yeah it was very lovely I would buy it again um, if it did come back up for sale uh, or if I didn't have so many other bubble bars to review and have in my collection already uh, but yeah very very nice uh, scent and I do recommend it I, I think it's a great one so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. Like I said, there will be a little demo of the bath water at the end, only about 20, 30 seconds long. So, um, yeah, if you'd like to see it, please stick around. And until next time, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. So here is the water of the Stargazer bubble bar. It's this sort of very sort of deep pinky colour, purple pinky. And the bubbles, insane. I can't really fill the bath all the way up because the bubbles were so insane. That's like the top of my bath. Can't even fill the whole bath up because it's crazy. So, yeah, you get a lot of bubbles out of this one. Thanks for watching.